This is Sean. In this video, I'm going to wrap up the last couple of items from that apartment complex that we did a bunch of work for. These are the last two items. They're fairly small, so I just grouped them into their own video. And make sure to check out the previous videos for this job. And I want to thank David McDonald for his comment on adding the previous videos link if I'm doing a series like this. So this has been a good job. The, it's a commercial job. The problem with these commercial jobs is just waiting for your payment. It's been over two months. Still haven't gotten paid for this job. And every time I email them, it's one excuse after another. So the commercial jobs are good and, and a pain at the same time. So I hope you enjoy this last installment of this job. This is item number four over here. So they had the sewers block up over here and they all backed up. They found one manhole, which is over there somewhere. I, I'm not sure where they showed it to me. But they knew there was another manhole around here somewhere. And it took two guys like five hours to find this. And they dug it out. So what we're going to do as part of this job is we're going to bring, bring it in a couple of risers, six inch risers. Bring this manhole cover up to the surface. So the first thing we need to do here is just get it exposed and get it cleaned out around it. So that's the sewer right there. Well, it's like a six inch PVC pipe and just an access right here. At least it's nice and running free. But we gotta lift this manhole cover up a little bit. You ready to help me with the panel cover? All we needed to raise this manhole cover up to the grade was these two six inch manhole cover risers. These are made of cast iron, so they're really heavy, they nest into place, and so that's, I mean, that's just a permanent solution right there. And now the manhole cover is not going to be buried under a foot of dirt the next time the sewer backs up. So we'll get this all filled back in, and this part of the job is done. If you need more dirt, I can bring it over with the, with the skinny mid.
when you're setting these kind of things in the ground, it's just really, really important to get the, the new dirt and the disturbed dirt compacted really, really well so that nothing's going to settle. If you just dumped a bunch of loose dirt in here and then walked away, it would settle and sink down and you'd have a big, huge problem again. So we make sure to really compact it. You can see Crystal there with the, the mall compacting right, right up against it. And here I am delivering the tamper over here so we can really get some compaction going on. We're finished over here with this manhole cover, so those two six inch risers worked really well to bring this up to grade. And so this thing is just as solid as can be. We packed it really well around it and seated and strawed it so it should be good to go. We are here at item number five. This is our final item. So we have this broken top here and this basin that's filled in. So we're going to pour a new top and we're going to dig this all out a little bit and probably put some new standoffs on it as well. So that's what we're working on for the final piece here. It looks like there was some asphalt in here leading to our drainage basin. So we just have like a big mat of roots over top of it. Is there any way we can find a cut that? It looks like they had a little spillway right here. But the problem is the reason this failed is because the brick is higher. There's a lip right there. So any dirt's gonna get caught up in there and they didn't have the lid high enough on any standoff. So the whole thing just filled in with sediment. So we've got nothing but super fine sediment coming out of there. So we're gonna try to get that, just that one single layer of brick off of there so the water has a free unimpeded flow through there. We are just getting cleaned up for today. So Ronald got these new standoffs on here and the lid was broken. 
So whenever we have the concrete here to pour the other, uh, the other things, we'll just put a form up and pour the lid and then bring it back over here. We scavenged a piece of plywood out of the dumpster. They're doing a ton of work in this complex. New roofs, new siding, a bunch of stuff in here. So we uh, were able to find that so we can put that over top of here before we leave. We're pouring the lid to replace that broken lid. I've got some rebar in there for some support, some lift points. I hope it'll lift it. I do too. Otherwise, we have to lift it. Yeah, we do. Here it goes, y'all. Okay, we got this catch basin basically dug out and got our lid re-poured. Re so that one turned out pretty nice. Well, I'm over here at this other drainage basin. This is the one that we redid the, the lid for. And the siding contractors have kind of piled their stuff on top of it. But it's taking water like mad. So that's exactly what it's supposed to do. We need post 10 out here to clear this stuff out.